Captain's Log, star date 2159. This is Space Crew. It's continuing mission to defend Earth and humankind, to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat, and to boldly go where no crew has gone before in this unique strategic space simulation. Welcome to Space Crew. You guys remember Bomber Crew? My God. Well, the madman who did it all has done it again. Furthermore, I got a code early and Curve Digital is sponsoring this video. So I want to say a big thank you to them. So Space Crew launches on the 15th of October on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. So make sure to go wishlist the game now. And if you pre-order, you get 20% off the regular $19.99 asking price. I want you guys to think like, hey, Baron, if I want this to be a series, I know what to do. Pull the trigger on the like button. Oh my God, the game is on pre-order right now using link in the video description. I love having all that right there. So yeah, link in the video description to pre-order. And if you don't want to pre-order, wish listing is a huge help for developers as well. And let's be honest, man, there's just no game like it. So without further ado, it's time to fill the black hole of this empty slot with our space crew. And that sounded awfully suggestive, but oftentimes, why not? <laughs> Athena Station, low Earth orbit, 2159. Oh, they've got a mission that needs my immediate attention. Well, they want me to do some basic training, so I'm gonna get that out of the way and we're gonna get onto the spicy stuff. My ship is named the Chum Bucket. I'd like to rename it to the Space Narwhal, but you gotta admit, this is just one of the most beautiful games. That, oh my God, do you see that? So the nose? of my ship is touching what many consider the most best state in all of the United States. The, the state where I live, Florida. Similar to Canada, but not really. Less syrup, it's warmer, and I live there, so that's gotta count for something. Objective! To the moon! So the enemies of space crew, these extraterrestrial threats, are known as the Phasmids. But this game is called Space Crew because, well, I've got a crew of people and we're in space. We're under attack from extraterrestrial threats. E.T. go home. Well, I completed my training mission. I've come back to Athena hovering, well, orbiting? Earth station. I mean, if I want to be a captain of a spaceship, I need to at least learn my space lingo. So it's time to go back home, but I think after I get back, and you too can go on these training missions, then I'll be sent out on my first mission. If I take one more jump, I may be the furthest from home I've ever been, Master Frodo Space Baggins. Yeah, we're gonna rename this to the Space Narwhal. That's one of the fun things you can do in this game is customize your ship. We got our skull and crossbones. We need to let the aliens know we're nice. So that way when they see us, if we put a big smiley face on the side, they're like, oh, that, they're nice. And then we blow them up because we're a space narwhal. All right. So the crew members kind of like level up. They can increase their skills and their statistics so they can perform various tasks and special abilities a little bit better. God, this game is gorgeous. So right now we've got the mess hall and the missions. Enemy forces at Phobos. And then every now and then there'll be bounties. Maybe there's some notorious aliens phasmids out there that need our destruction abilities on their faces. We can do that. But right now, we're on a search and destroy mission. Phobos is one of the moons of Mars. The bigger one that's more... The bigger one that's closer. And that's where the phasmids are making some creepy stuff. Captain Mercado, take us to space. I mean, we're already in space at the station, but you know, you know what I mean, Mercado. Come on, do, do your job. So the first thing we need to do is get over to this beacon that's going to help us direct us towards Mars. What is that over there? Whoa, those look like fighter escorts. They, I, they might be patrolling the station, but I know a little bit later in the game, we're going to be able to get these guys to escort us and call them in to help us out. So it's time to charge our hyper jump drive and then the gate's gonna pop up and then while we're charging it there's no power to anything else see right here we have all power to engines nothing on shields weapons or anything else so here we go to mars all right whoa is that hold on hold on a second hold your phone that's saturn jupiter uranus <laughs> So we can go back to Athena, but honestly, we need to find that moon. Mars Phobos. What is that over there? Is that a lunar body? Let's go find out. Enemies are incoming! All right, so we have, it looks like, two different squadrons of enemy Phasmid fighters, we believe. So we're gonna have to target them so that my gunners, and we're gonna have four of them stationed around this ship, can go to work. And look at that. Nothing like 
fighting in front of the red planet, where hopefully we have some colonies. I don't I don't see any super cities or any Baron Von Games headquarters towers, so, you know, maybe the future isn't as awesome as we hoped it would be. Now, our shields are getting low because we're getting absolutely hammered, but you know what? They said this was a low threat. If my crew can't deal with this, and I can't commandeer them, well then, by goodness, we shouldn't even be in space. All right, we've taken out another one, and look at that fantastical explosion. Oh, it's gorgeous. So it looks like there's only three left of the original six that were moving in to attack us. So we have these auto cannons, and these things can be upgraded. Like, you look at this guy. It looks like he's operating a plasma gun, which is why I had to turn off gravity within the ship to divert even more power to weapons. Boom! We got them. Hey, who's the best in space right now, okay? Hint, it's me. Yeah, see, look at this. Now I care. He's kind of like just kind of flying through the ship because we have gravity turned off. But now once he's there, we can turn one down from weapons and turn gravity back on. Navigate to Mars Phobos. Well, that's right there. So we're ready to charge our drive. Now that we've got no enemies in the area, we can afford to divert all power to engines. And then I think that right there is actually Phobos. Let's see. When we jump through this... Warp gate here. Engage! Oh, I love that. Alright. So now I think what we're gonna wanna do is go to the engineer, turn off gravity, turn on weapons, and then get him back to the forward gun. Now I c we'll keep our communications officer on their station. Oh, look at that. See? Our moon is quite beautiful when you think about the other lunar bodies. Hold on! There's aliens out there! No time to look at the stars and wonder and beauty. We're gonna have to engage these enemy threats. Destroy them. All right, Gunners, how are you guys doing? So once the crew, you know, right now we've clicked on... <laughs> that's a name. We'll go back to Nowick, because that's gonna be a lot easier to say. Um, at level two, we're gonna be able to increase his skills and he's gonna have certain abilities. Maybe that makes him more accurate by increasing his focus or some defensive fire. Captain, not abort. We need to, what, patrol? Can you turn the ship a little bit so we can get more guns? Uh-oh, we've got more enemy threats. There's two more coming in from, uh, I'm just gonna call it space. Because I don't, I don't know, there's no real north, south, east, or west in space. It's just space and, well, you guessed it, more space. There's so much space in space! Oh, the shields are low. Let's go ahead and zoom in and check out the crew. None of my gunners are really low on health. Mercado, the captain, has taken a little bit of damage. Oh, my biscuits! Look at that thing! Shoot those things! They've got shields, these little gunships. Well, there's one, and there's two down. We're doing pretty well. Uh, Kikuchi here. What a name these people have! Kikuchi! Uh, could use a little bit of time in the med bay once this skirmish is over. So that's one of the aspects. Yeah, you gotta go out there and fight the phasmid enemy threat. But honestly, the greater story is really your crew. Kikuchi, will you go back here? Actually, let's get Nawak to get on the gravity chamber here. And you can start moving back. All right, Nawak. Yeah, and there's these little medical kits, but we don't need them necessarily right now because we've got advanced technology called future tech. <laughs> and... Ooh, we have, we have some capacity here. Now, let's increase gravity. So now it's time to return to base. So we've got to go back to Mars because the jump gate to get back to Earth is actually orbiting Mars as opposed to orbiting Phobos here, which I wonder what's on the far side of that, man. Maybe the aliens are messing up. Oh, look, self-destruct. That seems like a bad button to press. <laughs> I don't like how it's right there, but at least it's big and red. All right, so we're ready to charge, so we'll go. We'll charge these, head back to Earth, or at least Earth orbit, and going back to Athena Station. And we're gonna dock here. And then I'm gonna see if we can't upgrade the ship and chase, change the name a little bit too, you know, what we really want. And so depending on your performance after the mission, we're gonna get different resources, both research and credits. And that allow us to upgrade the ship buy certain bits of gear for the crew. And look at that, oh man, we got a ton, ton of skill upgrades for our crew. This is what I really like, that our gunners, Ji Hu and Valentina have this focus fire ability. Woo, and wow, what a name. Polizini, Polizini, got a shield replenish. That's pretty good. Spicy. And there we go, we've unlocked a number of gears so we can give our crew light armor, battle helmets, boots, and gloves, which can help their survivability when we're under attack. All right, crew, 
fall in and let's get you kitted up. And right now we can have a preset. It'll make my captain a little bit slower, but much stronger. So I definitely want that. I want my engineer to remain fast though. So pretty much everybody but my engineer who I want to maintain their speed. And you can customize your loadout if you want, like space crew. And now that we've done that, we can do a number of different tasks. No bounties because there's no Phasmin champions out there, but I think I'm kind of curious about what they're doing. I want to see just exactly like, hey, Mr. Phasmid, what you doing over there? So let's go ahead and launch. I, I still can't rename the ship just yet. We're still in the early period of the game. We've got equipment racks, which we can customize. But right here in the back in our airlock chamber, there's an assault rifle. There's also one forward ship. So I'm going to remember this because... Unlike bomber crew, well, it's difficult to board a World War II era bomber from a fighter plane, right? Well, in space, there's a lot more boarding actions. We've got new stuff like tractor beams, airlocks. So we're gonna need assault rifles to defend ourselves from being boarded. So we have a little bit of a fire breaking out. Extinguish that fire, Nowak. You did brilliant. Now we'll stow the fire. Hydrant? I wanted to say hydrant. <laughs> So we've got a problem with our engine on this training exercise and we're gonna need it to get ourselves a space suit here so we can go outside. And then, ooh, look at these little airlocks. That's a super easy one. This is like an airlocked cargo bay, but these are rather convenient when you think about, you know, look at that. This is called going on a spacewalk. Eat that, Elon Musk. My ship's got guns on it. All right, now you did brilliantly. Let's come on back inside. We'll stow that suit. All right, so we're going out to the asteroid belt. So we got to get close to the jump gate in order to charge up for a hyper jump. And not only can you accelerate time, if you look in the upper left, you can actually slow down time. So I'm going to need to remember to use that, especially when there's just so much enemy phasmin activity. So let's charge up while the jump gate gets ready. We are prepared to go to hyperspace. The outer asteroid belt. Warning! Asteroids! Well, one of the things we're going to need to do is have a gunner at the front. <laughs> We're going head first. Enemy fighters have been detected. Oh, there they are. Oh man, this is an ambush. They say go investigate this. How about fly through an asteroid field? Ooh, and let's go ahead and try out some focus fire here. Good work. Oh, we got even more. Other gunners, focus fire. I love how like the ships are crashing into the asteroids after they die. It's gorgeous. Shields seem to be holding. Oh, and you know what? Even more fighters. So we've got the little fighters, and then there's like the bigger ships, which seem to be almost like attackers or maybe fighter bombers. And I think we're using all auto cannons. I don't think... This is plasma. All right, so we're ready to charge, but I'd rather engage these guys. Wow, these guys are really beating us up. Let's see what they look like. Look at that. They got these little turrets on the top. So that's a, a two crew. Excellent. Now, before we jump here, I, I think we're going to have to heal up our crew. Because if you look at it, we took an absolute beating. Nowak, get back to med. And I just realized one of the issues was probably the fact that we didn't have somebody on our, I guess that would be the port side gun. <laughs> wow. Now, the bad news is we've almost used most of the medical bay capacity. Now, now that everybody's healed up, I think what we need to do is divert power to guns. Take off gravity, increase weapons. We could also increase shields, which is definitely a possibility. We could take off engines completely, which would be kind of interesting. But one of the things that you're going to be able to do in the future is upgrade your ship so that you can increase the number of, you know, the energy that you have. All right, so let's charge up. Charging hyperdrive. Wow, this is going to take a lot longer now. All right, so we're going to go back into patrol mode since they basically ambushed me right as we were trying to get away. I'm not going to allow them to just destroy me like that. Three fighters came out of nowhere. I mean, they came out of somewhere. The lower shields have failed for a moment, but everybody seems to be okay, except for the captain could heal up a little bit. I mean, better safe than sorry, after all. Franco, the communications officer, once again, took a little bit of damage. I think we need to get out of here. This asteroid belt seems to just be crawling with phasma activity once again three more fighters focus fire everybody focus fire now i get to your station you idiot we need you shooting guns he's like but you didn't tell me to do it boss yeah you're right here we go wow three in quick succession get back over here and charge up we gotta get out of here this time it's only three seconds engage clear the enemies okay so we'll be on i guess we're gonna be face strongest shields towards enemies we're gonna put that 
So our evasiveness goes down, but I think our shields are going to be a little bit better. And, oh god, this is, this is definitely... Hey, clear enemies is my task. Oh, here we go. Three fighters out of the asteroid belt. Yeah, they're definitely hiding out here, man. But what we don't know is, are they extrasolar? Like, we know they're extraterrestrial, which means not from planet Earth. But what we have to figure out is, are they extrasolar? Are they from another planet within our solar system or without? You know, outside of it. Oh, wow, we're getting wrecked. I used my defensive fires a little bit, and there's a little bit of a cooldown on these abilities. Three more enemy fighters! Oh, those are gunships. Those are the big boys. That's not good at all. Now, I I wish you had a focus fire ability, but you don't. So let's see. Nobody's really that beat up just yet. And we should be able to defeat these last two gunships and fighter. Oh, no, there's a little bit extra. There's a little bit extra. Shields are low, Captain. More phasma activity. Oh, God, that was three. But soon I'll get my focus fires back. Oh, wow. We're getting a lot of XP from this. All right, the last three. They're flying in formation here. I love how they kind of have like, they're kind of like saucers. All right, I'm gonna keep my focus fires just because I, I feel like right now this is a relatively low threat. And I, I've learned my lesson here. Beautiful, the last one. Look at that guy. Evasive maneuvers. It's too late, dude. Look at the auto cannon and the, the plasma firing at him. I love the auto cannon. I hope it's like a 30 millimeter, like the A10 Warthog. Yes. Now it hasn't said, oh, it said clear enemies. Okay, so how do we do? Let's check. We definitely have some scoring on the hull here. And now I can go ahead and repair. What system was damaged? Okay, the forward shields are going up. Good job, Nowak. We'll take you off guns. Captain, we're gonna go ahead and head back to base. Charge up. All power's being diverted to engines, but I see no phasmin activity. Last time we got ambushed. There's Saturn, warning asteroids. Okay, scannable, unidentified phasmin technology. <laughs> what? Let's go ahead and do some slow motion. So what does that look like? It looks like some kind of just a capsule. So we scanned it and that's in an optional tech. Let's do another quick little loop around just to see if there's another one around here. Okay, so I, I think it's pretty safe to assume we're about to get attacked, right? Now I go ahead and repair that. But everybody's where they need to be. Ready to scan. All right, I need to have, I think it's actually my engineer or is it the communications officer? Can you scan? Scan. Look at that. Dude, what is it? Why did they just leave it here? Is it a Trojan horse? And inside is a bunch of aliens. Enemies incoming. Okay. Yeah, we, we kind of expected that. Now I get to the guns. We have an alert that there are enemies incoming. I think what we could do is just dip dip potato chip. Oh wait, Earth and Athena stations over there. We actually have to go through the, the belt again. So that's a little worrisome. Oh, here we go. Two gunships. I'm gonna call them gunships because they're not just like fighters, right? They're kind of bigger and badder. Luckily, they're not on the side where we don't have a gunner. <laughs> Come on, guys. Just pepper them. Destroy them. Wow. Our ships are superior. Two more gunships. And it looks like three fighters popping up over there. Okay. Oh, shields are red. Oh, forward and backward shields are down. Nowak, get to the gun. We're definitely taking a bit of a beating here. Now the three fighters are coming in. I think it's time. Focus fire! We need to get out of here! That was easy enough. Wow, focus fire ability is dope. Could have used it a little bit sooner, I think. All right, so it's time to charge up, and I think I'm heading back to the station. Engage! Yeah. Do you think that the Phasmids will end up making, like, a giant attack? Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> On planet Earth here? Oh my god, look at that. Yay, we did it! And it's like, hey, we have an option to abandon ship. No, thank you. There's another ability I'm gonna get, an emergency one at level 6, for my captain here, but he's only level 2, so it's gonna be a little bit of a ways until we get that. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and speed up and get to Athena Station. It, it really gets me excited playing games like this, and just like, kind of wondering, like, do you think that we're gonna get to see stuff like this in our lifetime? Like a giant space station. Like that. I don't know. Are we gonna be able to go where no man has gone before? Look at that. The optional objectives always give you some extra stuff. Here we got an extra bit of research. And the chum bucket has returned. Now if your ship gets destroyed, you can start over with a new crew. Or try to rescue some of your old crew. At least if it's similar to bomber crew. Ooh! So, our communications officer can now request that fighter support. Calls in friendly fighters that provide additional firepower. That is fantastic. And we've got some new upgrades for our ship. We can have better plasma cannons and additional armor plating. So those are some things we're definitely gonna want to do. So let's go ahead and check them out right now. Ah, oh, here it is. 
Rename the ship. It's time. The Dawn Space Narwhal. I also kind of want to call it Narwhal because I think it's funny, but Narwhal. So here it's like, do we want to upgrade the front, middle, upper, middle, lower, and rear? So there's the four sections. There's the various systems, including your shields, gravity generators, reactors, and med bay. And then there's the weapon systems. The best defense is a strong offense, so they say. And you've got auto cannons, plasma cannon mark ones, and plasma cannon mark twos. So if you want to check out the game on Steam, you can wish list it right now. And if you're going to get it for console, there's going to be some pre-orders for PS4 and Xbox One starting September 24th. Nintendo Switch, the pre-orders start October 1st. And all those who pre-order via Xbox One and PS4 get Bomber Crew for free when they pre-order Space Crew. And if you want to find out more, click the link in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you'd like to see more when it comes out, and I'll see you in the next